NetBeans has been incubating in Apache for some time. Recently, the first of a planned three NetBeans code donations were made available by Oracle to Apache. That code donation consists of a zip file that contains the NetBeans platform, in other words, the infrastructure beneath NetBeans IDE, as well as the tools for working with Java SE, such as those for Java Swing and Java FX, and including the tools for working with JDK 9 features, such as Jigsaw, JLink, and JShell. All that code, consisting of about 45,000 files, is in Apache Git and mirrored on Apache GitHub. Before that code can be released from Apache, a number of tasks need to be completed. The most important of these are listed on the module's review page. On this page, you see a number of tables. Each table represents a NetBeans cluster, which is a set of related NetBeans modules represented on disk by a folder in the root of the NetBeans installation directory. The tables are listed in order of priority, i.e. we need the platform table to be reviewed first since this provides the core of NetBeans. In each table, there's a row for each module within the cluster that the table represents. For each row, in other words, for each module, we need to be 100% sure that the code in the module belongs to Apache and can therefore be released under Apache. Each file should start with a license header. Each existing license header should be converted to the Apache license header. Of the 45,000 files, around 30,000 have been done already automatically by a converter tool that Apache NetBeans committers have created and committed to Apache Git. These files were automatically converted based on the fact that they had Oracle or Sun license headers, and since Oracle donated the code to Apache, these license headers can legally be converted to Apache. However, many files do not have license headers. In most cases, these need to be added. In most cases, there are common patterns. For example, form files generated by the NetBeans Matisse GUI builder do not have licenses and need to have them added during the incubation process. In each case, there are specific circumstances. Per module, we need to identify any specific problems found within the module. And possibly we will be able to fix common patterns via the converter tool so that a lot of things will not need to be done manually. That's what this table is for, to bring these different points to the surface. We also want to identify any external binaries that are needed by each module and that can be identified by looking at each module's external folder and listing the jars that are listed there. This information for each module needs to be added to this page. You do not need to do anything other than that. We simply want to bring problematic areas to the surface so that we can deal with them. Put your name in a few rows of the table, clone Apache NetBeans on GitHub, look at your self-assigned modules, Look at the RAT report to see whether any files found in your self-assigned modules are identified as being problematic, and list that information in your row in the table together with any information about the jars that your self-assigned modules depend on. No knowledge of NetBeans APIs or Java code or anything at all is needed. You only need to identify problematic areas based on the RAT report, which lists all of them and is generated automatically during the build. Do this and we'll be able to release NetBeans from Apache very soon and you'll have made a great contribution to the Apache NetBeans project.